This video will cover USB Type-C PD quick charger applications and it will explain the benefits of EPC EGAN devices for these applications. We will review USB-C PD quick charger applications where GAN devices can be used for flyback topologies and we will introduce the EGAN portfolio and explain EGAN technology benefits. We will focus on USB-C PD quick charger applications. These applications have a wide voltage operating range. The input voltage can be 100 volts AC to 240 volts AC, which results in a DC bus voltage from 140 to 340 volts. The output voltage can vary from 5 to 20 volts. And new applications allow up to 100 watts. That's 5 amperes at 20 volts. USB-C PD quick chargers and adapters for smartphones, laptops, and others require the highest power density for fast charging and small size. EGAN enables miniaturization, very high efficiency, and excellent thermal performance. The typical topology for these applications is the active clamp flyback that can operate in continuous current mode, or CCM, or discontinuous current mode, or DCM. CCM mode reduces RMS current, losses, and size. EGAN FETs enable CCM mode due to the fact that there's no reverse recovery. A silicon MOSFET would have too many QRR losses in CCM mode. This topology requires 100 volt or 150 volt FETs for a 20 volt output. In this slide, we compare the losses of the 150 volt EPC 2033 EGAN FET with this typical silicon MOSFET in DCM. EGAN FETs reduce the size and the gate losses. They consume much less power at higher voltages. They enable higher frequency capability for higher densities. And please note, the worst case for losses is low AC line and low V out, or around 5 volts. The thermal design is based on this case. Our newest 170 volt FET, the EPC 2059, is ideal for this application. It outperforms our previous offering, the EPC 2033, and saves 60 square millimeters. As we saw before, the worst case for losses is low AC line and low V out, or 5 volts. The thermal design must be based on this worst case. To limit losses, most applications work in CCM, and in this mode, the fact that EGAN FETs do not have reverse recovery is a huge advantage. Losses would be way too big with silicon MOSFETs. By using EGAN FETs and CCM mode, losses can be reduced by 41% from 1.42 watts for the silicon MOSFET in DCM to 0.84 watts for the EGAN FET in CCM. So CCM reduces losses, simplifies cooling, and reduces size. Also, there's 15% lower secondary RMS current and this reduces rectifier losses by 6 tenths of a watt from the CCM MOSFET. It reduces in inductor coil losses by the square of the current, and it reduces capacitor ripple current losses. Also, there is about 12% lower primary RMS current, and this reduces primary FET current trading on state losses for switching losses. It also reduces the inductor coil losses by I squared, it reduces capacitor ripple current losses as well. And again, our newest 170 volt FET, the EPC 2059, saves an additional 60 square millimeters over the previous GAN solution. To sum up the benefits of using EGAN FETs for USB Type C adapters, GAN devices reduce 
high voltage secondary FET losses by 0.71 watts or almost 80 percent. They also enable CCM operation for easier cooling and thus reduces the low voltage secondary FET losses by 0.6 watts or more than 40 percent and they reduce the resistive losses on both the primary and secondary side by 28 percent. Finally, EGAN FETs reduce board space by 60 square millimeters. Here we compare the parameters and figures of merit of a typical silicon MOSFET compared with the EPC 2033 and the EPC 2059. The EGAN FETs have a huge parametric advantage for exceptional high frequency operation. RDS on times QG for the EGAN FETs is only 6% that of the silicon MOSFET and the QRR is zero. The RDS on times QOSS plus QRR is one-fifth that of the silicon MOSFET. And the 2059 is also only 6% of the size of the silicon MOSFET and the PCB spacing, space savings is 60 square millimeters. A full ecosystem is available to drive EGAN FETs in AC to DC applications. Several synchronous rectifier controllers and integrated drivers are available for synchronous rectification. Visit the EPC website for a full list of GAN compatible integrated circuits. In summary, EGAN FETs are smaller, more efficient, and more reliable than silicon MOSFETs. Using EGAN devices enables the highest power density for USB Type C PD quick chargers. For more detailed information about EGAN FETs and ICs in DC to DC or AC to DC applications, please see the third edition textbook, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion, or view more videos in the How to GAN and Why GAN series. And for more information on EGAN FETs and integrated circuit products and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.